When Carnegie Mellon first approached us as a partner with them to develop these lessons, I had never heard of Kodu. Uh, but it didn't take me long to get uh, get familiar with it. It's very easy to figure out, very easy to use. Well, so basically, um, Kodu is you programming a Kodu or item items in Kodu, and you make them learn how to eat, how to move, how to program other items. You can place items that you want and then program them to do certain things, like move around, eat something, grab something. Kodu is a basic programming software that allows students in grades three and up to begin the process of being proficient programmers. Students use Xbox controllers to navigate the program. Dr. Turetsky at Carnegie Mellon have been writing lesson plans for the program to be able to share them with other schools to help bring programming to any grade level uh, across the state, across the country. Computer programming should be taught in the schools for every grade level because today it's a fundamental skill. It's comparable to mathematics or learning to read. Everyone needs to interact with computers no matter what their job is. The physical manipulatives allow students to work hands-on. Tile manipulatives help students see the syntax of Kodu, so without having to explicitly tell them the syntax, just by playing with the tiles, seeing the different colors and shapes, they learn the syntax without even having to explicitly study it. Students are forced to think critically to thoroughly understand the way a computer thinks. In order to program the characters in the game, the students must master this understanding of a computer's process. Uh, you design the game on your own. There's a step process. So if I told Kodu to just eat, he wouldn't just eat everything on the world. You would have to tell him to, for for example, say eat. If I, you put like a coin out there, you can, you can say when when see coin move toward, and then when see when bump coin do eat. Although Kodu is billed as a game programming language, the, the official name is Kodu Game Lab. It's really a robot programming language. What, what students are learning is called behavior-based robot programming, where their programs deal with perceptions and actions in a virtual world, but what they learn in Kodu translates directly to real physical robots. So our students are not just becoming computer programmers, they're becoming robot programmers. We've actually developed partnerships with Carnegie Mellon University and Microsoft together. Uh, as we work and develop these lessons through Kodu with Carnegie Mellon, we're finding bugs in the program of Kodu and things that could be altered. Microsoft is immediately fixing them and sending us the updates. So it's a very special relationship we have and very unique to be able to partner and build this program to what it could be. Many people, including the president himself, a musician Will I Am, uh, Bill Gates, have stepped up and said that we ought to be teaching programming in the schools to all grade levels. And some countries are already doing that. The U.S is not the first to, to take this position, but uh, Pleasant Hills is one of the first places to take the idea seriously and look at how we could implement that.